Show me how the whip shit cold Watching my step ground froze Most my days spent alone Same with my bro, he knows Ay, Gotta pay dues Walking in mud, you can check my <laughs> Alright, we're back So My shift is about to start here in just a second In just a minute I was trying to start up uh, Start editing the vlog So I can post today I didn't post yesterday Cause I wasn't feeling that great Oh shoot So I was just like Screw it I was like Screw it girl Do not pressure yourself about posting today So I didn't oh, It's a rainy day today I'll tell y'all that but anyway, y'all, my computer had froze up and I had to restart it and do all that jazz. I really need to go ahead and get an external hard drive so that I can, um, my calendar is all kind of wrong. Today is not Saturday. Today is Monday. But yeah, so that I could start editing a vlog to go up for today. So the vlog is probably going to be all over the place. I'm just going to give you a heads up, okay? It's probably going to be all over the place. And I'm probably going to be talking a lot. <laughs> now that I've gotten comfortable with talking to you guys and just being myself, okay, I feel like I'm I talk a lot now, right? I think I'm, um, you know, because at first when I started doing these videos, y'all, I'm an introvert. So it's kind of weird to just be talking, uh, even though I had a lot to say, it was just weird. And I was... uh not as open i guess so that you guys could get to know me a little bit better but i was like i think this year was like one of the goals one of my goals to be more open and step outside of my comfort zone so i just started opening up to you guys and now i feel like i talk a lot you guys let me know anywho let's see all right so let me go ahead and say before this thing freezes up on me let me save it that way i can pull it up if I need to take it down and pull it back up, I can pull it up. The only thing I don't like about this, I think I don't even know if I said that. This might be that's what I'm saying, y'all. This video might be all over the place. Um, but this VSDC editor, video editor, is mm, I don't think I'm gonna be using it for 2023. I think I'm gonna go back to Wondershare because girl, every time okay, it's saved. So let me just minimize it. Every time I close out of it, like when it starts to glitch and freeze up and stuff I close out of it right and then I try to pull it back up and then this box pops up saying that it's already launched and what I've been having to do is restart my computer every single time and that is so annoying so I'm like ugh <sighs> and I gave myself some time to learn this editing software but now I'm just over it it's just too much and it takes too long for me to get my videos up. Like the last video, the work vlog video, y'all, it took two hours to convert over into a file so that I could upload it to, to YouTube. Oh my gosh. And it wasn't even a long video. It was about 40 some minutes. Anyway. Whew. So while my computer was doing its thing, I was trying to catch up on all my comments and... I went back to a comment that was posted a few days ago to let them know that there was no issues, that I wasn't tripping or nothing, um, but the comment was deleted. So the comment was basically letting me know that they knew me personally, right? This was somebody that obviously had some type of interaction with me outside of social media back in the day, right? Um, they let me know that by putting my dog's name in the comment. I don't have a dog now, but you guys know that I used to have a dog back in the day. I actually used to have two. I used to have one named Socks and because he had white feet. He was a cute dog, but he just grew too fast, okay? Um, and he was a big dog. He got big really fast. But anyway, um, so I had a dog named Socks, and then I had a dog named Peaches, right? So they dropped peaches in the comment to let me know that they knew me and I was just like oh okay you know like I wasn't even tripping about it y'all like I'm not surprised that 
somebody would eventually come across my YouTube channel that I knew back in the day because I come across people come across me and I come across them on Facebook and Instagram. So it was just a matter of time that somebody that I knew back in the day would find my YouTube channel, which is really not hard to find. Oh my gosh, are y'all out of focus? There we go. I'm not a hard person to find because of my name. The way my name is spelled, it's unique, it's different, and there's only a handful of people with that name, so I am not hard to find at all. So if you Google me, let's see, I think the last time I Googled my own self, out of curiosity, I think I took up like the first two, two and a half pages, um, because I've been on, you know, I've done other things in the past, MLMs and, uh, all sorts of stuff right so it's all on it's all online um but anyway so they left a comment and at first i was like you know hey this is in my mind i'm like this is interesting that you would say that you know and um so i think my response to them was like i don't know what you're talking about because i didn't want to assume anything like i've never been the type of person to just assume what people are feeling or thinking and all that stuff I'd rather you just tell me <laughs> how you feel, you know. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I didn't assume anything with the comment. But I did realize at some point when they put the name of the dog that I used to have in the comment, I did realize that, oh, okay, this person knew me personally because only a handful of people would know that information. Um, and you would have to have been in my personal space to even know that, right? So, girl, what is up? with this okay let's click out let's close out and start again yeah and so they were saying some other stuff and they weren't mean or they weren't mean or anything like that they were actually pretty nice in the comments and i don't know at some point i think they thought that i was being rude about it or something i don't know it started to get weird um towards the end and by the time I went back to let them know that that it was all good on my end, like I, I wasn't feeling a way about anything. By the time I went back to let them know that, which was a few hours later because I had to work. Hold on, y'all. Oh, shoot. Okay. Because I had to work. Um, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm trying to push it. It won't let me push. Okay. We don't do that. Girl, what is going on? I can't get into the get back into the polls. Okay. Anyway, y'all, let me close this out. I'll come back to this. Let me pull it back up again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyway, when I went back to let them know that it was all good, they had deleted the comment. So Whoever you were, <laughs> um, it's all good. Like, I'm not even tripping or nothing. And if you felt that I was tripping in the comments or that I was in my feelings about something, um, that certainly was not the case. I don't feel any type of way about it. And when I told you that I appreciate your support, I literally meant that um, with all sincerity. Like, I appreciate all of you guys that support because let's be real if you didn't watch the videos there would be no channel right if no one was watching my videos i would have stopped posting them a long time ago because it'll be like a waste of time okay because it's a lot of work filming editing posting you know that's a lot of work so if if, if i wasn't getting any views at all i would not be posting y'all so if you guys weren't um Girl, what is going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. But if you guys weren't watching the channel, then I, there, there wouldn't be a channel. So I was um, wholeheartedly genuine when I said that. I didn't mean nothing by it. I wasn't being negative or anything like that. So, you know, if you're watching the channel, if you see this video, um, I just want you to know that because I went back to try to tell you that you deleted the comment. I don't know why they deleted the comment though. It wasn't nothing 
deep. They were actually pretty nice. I think maybe they probably felt like they was putting out my business, which you guys already knew that I had dogs back in the day, right? You, I just never mentioned the name of the dogs. And then you guys already knew that I'm part of the LGBT community. I've never hid any of that. And they did let me know that they were too and that they will always, always support and watch. And that is so cool. Girl, if this thing give me this error message one more time, I think I'm going to scream. Okay? Hold up. Wait a minute. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Okay. Oh, man. Speaking of songs. Child, I could not go to sleep last night. I was up till about 3 o'clock this morning. Scrolling the internet. And I kept coming across the daggone... Tick, apparently there's a TikTok trend dance for a song by a guy named Sam Smith and the song is called Unholy. So now the song is stuck in my head because I kept seeing it over and over and over and over again to the point where I think I can actually do the dance now. <laughs> Y'all know I was struggling trying to do the, um, the woman dance by, uh, dang, what's her name? Doja Cat. Y'all know I was trying to learn that dance. Girl, what is the heps? Why won't it let me click on the um? Okay. See, this is when you go to tech support because I'm over. I done tried to log into the VPN. Let me move y'all out the way real quick. I done tried to log into the VPN and it ain't letting me, girl. And I got to be at work in three minutes. They play too much. Play too much. Girl, why won't this let me click on it? Okay, I'll be back, y'all.
chaos so i'm working on dinner right now i've got four lead quarters in here and what i did was i baked the lead quarters first most of the way before putting in the cream of chicken um add a little bit more water the cream of chicken and so i just put the frozen vegetables on top so so far it's looking pretty good I wonder if I should put some more vegetables. I don't know. We'll have to see. But let me add a little bit of, um, oops, let's stir this up. Add a little bit more water to this. Just a little bit. And I know this is probably not the way you actually make chicken pot pie, but this is chicken pot pie on a budget, okay? So we've got four leg quarters, some mixed vegetables, and let me see, I probably should put some more mixed vegetables. cut the oven down I've got the oven on 400 oh I can keep it on that it says 400 on the can so that works out so I've got it on 400 so I'm just gonna take these biscuits girl hold on trying to open the can I thought it was just gonna pop open but that is not the case in this situation my goodness okay Okay, hold on y'all, let me get these cans open because they're not popping open, so I don't know what's up with it. Because oh, I'm used to them popping open, but it's not. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Girl, I've never in my life struggled to open some biscuits. Okay, so I'm just going to just lay them on top like this. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of salt. I did season the chicken, but the vegetables and the cream of chicken is not seasoned. So I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of salt, not on top of the biscuit though, but around the biscuit. And I'm not going to cover it. 
I'm just going to stick it back in the oven as is so that the biscuits can cook. And by the time the biscuits are done cooking, this whole thing will be done and I can let it sit for a little bit and then it'll be ready to eat. All right, so while the Popeye is doing its thing, I'm going to finish up a skill enhancement that I have to do. Um, remember I was telling you guys about that in the uh work vlog video i was talking about sows and certain things that would be required so enhancements skill enhancements is a requirement that's something that you know you have to do over time and you'll be prompted to do it when they become available and it's basically just continuing uh continued certification so in my case there is a new function that is going to be happening with one of the systems that I use. So they want us to brief ourselves over it. And that's what basically the skill enhancement is about. So I'm going to finish that up. But I did get an email of some more funding opportunities for women um, and business resources. So I've got it open here. And I'm just going to give you guys a few. Let me scroll through here to see which ones have deadline dates that are a little bit further out. Um, just in case you guys are interested, you're not like kind of, you're not rushing to do everything you need to do to apply. So let me see. Mm. Okay. Um. Keep scrolling. I think I already told y'all about that. The AT&T Black Future Maker. Uh, that's December 19th. Uh, let me see. Okay, so here's one. It is an organization called Feed the Soul Foundation. It's a grant. So this grant is to aid marginalized professionals in a culinary in the culinary industry who identify as black and Latin. Um applicant must own a culinary business. Oh my ear. A culinary business with at least four employees the grant is for ten thousand dollars and you'd have to apply by january 31st so let me write that down that way i can remember to put it in the um description of this video along with the link what what did i tell y'all feed the soul foundation grant okay because I think I told y'all some before in a past video, but I forgot to put the links down in the description. Alright, so that's one. Let's see if there is another one. Okay, Fem Health Accelerator Grant. So let's see. Applicants should be early stage women owned companies in the FEM health space building technology enabled products and solutions that drastically improve women's health and wellness. So this grant is $10,000 and um, you have to apply by January 27th. And so let me write that down so I can put the link down below. Fem Health Accelerator. Oh, I can't spell. All right. Accelerator. Accelerator Grant. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if there's another one. Looks like a lot of these have deadline dates of December. Um...
let's see, I think that, um, mm, let's do this one. So this one is for Hispanic owned businesses. So the organization is Verizon Small Business Digital Ready. Business Digital Ready. Okay. And let's see. So to be eligible for the grant, qualified applicants. Oh my gosh, my ear. Qualified applicants must be a 51% Hispanic owned small business and complete in any combination at least two courses, coaching events, or community events by application deadline of January 13th. So this grant is for a thousand, um, sorry, $10,000. Okay. So I think all the ones we read was 10,000. So I'll make sure I'll put the links to these in the description below that way you guys if you have a business and you need funding um you're able to go and check those organizations out all right y'all so i'm done with the skill enhancement so let me show you guys what the dinner looks like looks absolutely delicious i was really nervous about doing this i wasn't sure how it was going to turn out now i did have to put the um put it back in the oven for like five more minutes even though the top was kind of um cooked already but what i did was i just put it in the oven five more minutes covered um so that the bottom of the biscuits can cook because they were still a little bit raw so I just covered it and then put it back in there for five minutes and it is perfectly fine. So that is dinner. That looks absolutely delicious, budget friendly, and I still have mixed vegetables left over. So it works out. Um, Libby was like, chicken again? Girl, yeah, because girl, mm, we know how them prices is raising, girl. So we might be eating chicken for a minute, okay? I'm going to try to figure out some creative ways to cook it, but... This was one, so chicken pot pie is the first time I've ever made this, so I'm really proud of myself. It looks absolutely delicious, and I hope everybody likes it, um, you know, but I don't think I showed you guys what the tree looks like lit. I can't remember, but let's take a look. <laughs> so this is what the tree looks like, my little corner here. I actually really like it. It looks less boring than when it was sitting over there on the table because I had started working on it and then I kind of left it. Um, I guess I just wasn't in the mood anymore, y'all, <laughs> to be honest. I'm really, this is really for Olivia, you know, if I'm being honest. You know, I could care less if the tree is up or not, but, you know, I'm going to make it fun for her. So, um, looks pretty good. Actually, got the stockings over here. Then you got those little uh i guess wall decorations or whatever but man i didn't realize we had so many stockings oh i'm glad livy found her stocking she was looking for that y'all that stocking is 13 years old i'm gonna tell you when i had olivia i had her y'all know her birthday is in october right so on her first christmas i made this stocking for her um, it was a clear, it was just a plain old white stocking. And then I ironed on this little flower and had some glitter glue. So I just decorated it. And man, that is, <laughs> that is crazy. Kids grow up so fast, but I'm glad she kept it though. She was looking for it, uh, over the weekend and I thought it was with the other stuff, but it, it wasn't, um, I guess it was in her room or something, but yeah, y'all, this stocking is old. Yep, her first Christmas stocking when she was a baby. Y'all, her first Christmas was lit. I went insane.